So we're about to see Jason, age 8, Page, Arizona, 1984. Can you guess? <laughs> I'm the middle child in a family of ten boys, no girls. My parents were, and still are, ultra-conservative Mormons. And to top it all off, my dad was the physical education teacher at the local middle school. So, I suppose that makes him more of a lesbian, but... <laughs> Um, I have so many funny memories of my childhood, and luckily I was blessed with a healthy dose of innocence because it protected me from all the repressed social norms that were all around me in this small town. I knew from age five that I was attracted to other boys. All my best friends were girls, but all of my crushes were definitely boys. And back then, I figured everyone felt the same way I did, so there was no need to even talk about it. <laughs> yeah. In my picture, all of the obvious signs were there for the entire world to see leather boots, bow tie, carrying my Cabbage Patch doll named Clifford, and protectively mothering my younger brother for the photo. So that's Josh, Jacob, and Sam with me here in this particular photo. What I wish I had is a picture of me in my pink E.T. flannel nightgown. <laughs> my mother had received a box of donated clothes, and when I went searching through them and found this particular gym, I became obsessed. I would come home from school every day, take off my school clothes, and immediately don my pink nightgown. And I was obviously very comfortable in it because one day I went riding bikes around the neighborhood with the other kids, and uh, that's when I was shot by a BB gun twice. So my first gay hate crime was at age seven. <laughs> um, I also remember my infatuation with Wonder Woman. It wasn't that I just idolized her, I wanted to be her. And I remember sneaking out into the side yard of the house and praying to God with every fiber of my being to please let me turn into Wonder Woman. So I did the spin, and when nothing happened, I literally bawled my eyes out. <laughs> so... Page turn. Um, there are certainly a lot more funny stories, um, stuff from when I was in drama class and choir, and... Uh, being the only boy on the clogging team for five of the seven years that I danced there. Um, you know, I was a river dancer years before it became the cheesetastic phenomenon that it now is. And um, all these years later, I am so grateful for all of the colorful experiences that I had growing up as a child. I've gone through some struggles with my family, but I'm happy to say it's all been worth it. And the biggest victories have come from being exactly who I am at all costs. And I can honestly say I'm proud of the man I am today. It's my sincere belief that the best way we inspire others is to live by example. And I hope that the gay and lesbian youth of today continue to embrace the uniqueness that is inherently ours. <laughs>